Facebook's Oculus unit is trying to garner enthusiasm for its virtual reality goggles. After some stumbles, the company is hosting a conference for developers with the goal of one day becoming a dominant player in what could be the next major computing platform. Julia Borston offers us a peek at our virtual future from San Jose, California. Facebook's Oculus virtual reality technology has been touted for its potential for gaming, but now it's going social. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg announcing ways people from all around the world can interact in the same place. Up to eight people can meet up in a virtual space with a new feature called Parties, and you can play games or watch movies in a shared space called Rooms. And now people can create avatars and even share facial expressions. The magic of VR software is this feeling of presence, right? The feeling that you're really there with another person or in another place. And helping this community build this software and these experiences is the single thing that I am most excited about when it comes to virtual reality. As Oculus faces growing competition from Google, PlayStation, and others, it just announced its high-end Rift headset will work with lower-cost computers. And it gave a sneak peek at a prototype for an entirely new line of headsets that would be as high quality as the Rift without requiring any computer. Oculus CEO Brendan Ereeb wouldn't say when the new line of headsets would be available or how much they'd cost, but he says the company's focused on serving a market of millions of people down the line. There are a lot of VR enthusiasts out there, and this is still early days for VR, but we've seen a huge amount of adoption of VR. I mean, this is a dream so many people have had uh, that one day we'd finally step into that virtual reality world, and now it's a reality. And to make sure there's plenty of content to experience, Oculus is doubling down, announcing it spent $250 million on content and planning to spend another $250 million to build the ecosystem. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in San Jose, California.